Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how you can quickly create this towel that you can customize with your own graphics and text. I provided the links to the files of the towel and the Olympic rings so you can follow along. They're located in the video's description or project files. Open the towel file. We're going to use it as a displacement map. This will make the graphics and text that we'll be adding later to wrap themselves around the contours of the towel. Displacement maps seem to work best when they're slightly blurred, so go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it by 1.5 pixels. Click OK, or press Enter or Return. Go to File, and Save As. Save it to your desktop as a Photoshop file, and name it Displacement, then click Save. Go to the History panel and click on the top History State. If you don't see your History panel, go to Window and History. Open the Olympic Ring file I provided. If you want to use a different graphic, just make sure you can make a selection around it so it can be separated from its background. For this example, I'll use the magic wand tool to make the selection. I'll make the tolerance 32, make sure anti-alias is checked, and contiguous is unchecked. Click anywhere inside the white area to make the selection. We need to invert it. To do this, press Control shift i on a PC or Command shift i on a Mac. Now we can cut and copy the image from its background by pressing Ctrl or Command J. To get the Olympic rings onto the towel, press V to open your move tool and drag it up onto the tab of the towel file. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the tile and release. To resize and reposition it, open your transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. To see the entire transform on your screen, press Ctrl or Command-0. Drag inside the transform to reposition it closer to the center. To resize it, go to a corner, and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC, or Shift and Option on a Mac, as you drag it in or out until you're happy with its size. Then press Enter or Return. Press Ctrl or Command-0 to fit it back onto your screen. To get rid of the thin white fringe that surrounds the image, go to Layer, Matting, and Defringe. Defringe it by one pixel. We're ready to set our text. Open your horizontal type tool and choose a font. I'm using Cafeta. If you want to use it, I provided that link as well. I'll choose a size of 60 points, smooth, center alignment, and black for the color. Type out your text. To reposition it, click on your Move tool and move it. If it's sticking a little, go to View and make sure Snap is not checked. If it is, just click on it to disable it. Open your Type tool again by either clicking on it or pressing T on your keyboard. Click on your document and the color box. I want to pick up the color of the red ring so I'll click down on it. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Open your type tool and type out your second line. Open your move tool to reposition it. Right now, don't be concerned with having it perfectly centered. We'll center everything in a minute. If you want to type out a third line, open your Type tool and click on your document. I want it to have the same color as the blue leaf design, so I'll click on the color box and click down on a leaf to pick up its color. I'll type out my line of text and open my Move tool to reposition it. If you want to move all the text in the graphic up or down on the towel, shift-click on the Olympic rings to highlight all the layers in between it and the active layer. All the highlighted layers are now active. By clicking on the image 
and moving it, all the active layers move together. I'd like to italicize the bottom line, so I'll click on that layer to make just this active. I'll open my Type tool again, highlight it, and go to Window and Character. I'll click on the faux italic icon, then close the text panels. Let's center everything on your document. Shift click on the Olympic rings or whatever graphic you have to highlight it and all the text. Click on your move tool and then press Ctrl or Command A to select your entire document and click on the Align Horizontal Centers icon. To make the text that's in front of the graphic more legible, we'll remove the areas of the graphic that surround the text. Control click or command click on the thumbnail of the text to make a selection of its shape. Go to your other text that's in front of your graphic and press Shift plus Control on a PC or Shift plus Command on a Mac to add a selection of the shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Expand. For this example, I'll expand them by 10 pixels. Go to the thumbnail of your graphic and press Delete. This deleted the areas of the graphic within the selection. To delete the selection, press Ctrl or Command D. Click off the thumbnail of the towel layer to hide the towel. The next step is to make a composite snapshot of your image. To do this, make your top layer active and press Control shift alt e on a PC or Command-Shift-Option-E on a Mac. Now that we have a composite snapshot of the text and the graphic, we can hide their individual layers. Make the background visible. We're going to slightly blur the text and the graphic because it'll ultimately blend in better on the towel. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it by one pixel, then click OK. Go back to Filter, Distort, and Displace. We'll displace the horizontal and vertical scales by 8. The displacement map is stretched to fit, and the undefined areas are repeat edge pixels. Then click OK. When this window pops up, click Desktop. Click on the Displacement file, then click Open. The text and graphic are now wrapping itself around the towel. To blend it better into the towel, change the Blend Mode to Multiply. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.